Hey guys, welcome back. So, I'm gonna be taking over today. So, uh, today we're gonna be making chocolate chip cookies. So, if y'all didn't know, I'm Tanasia, um, her daughter. So, yeah, we're gonna be making some chocolate chip cookies from scratch. So, let's get started. So, we got some salted butter and eggs at room temperature. We got some chocolate chips. You can use any kind you want. This is what we got today. Got some granulated sugar, all-purpose flour, light brown sugar, vanilla extract. And yeah, that's all we need for these cookies today. I'll leave the link to the recipe below. And yeah, so let's get started baking. Okay, so. Uh, my face is really good in the camera. So, um, I forgot to say we're also going to be using baking soda. So, let's get started. I'm following a recipe. It's over here. And I'm going to be doubling it. So, we're going to be using two and a half cups of flour. Sorry for those. What I'm doing is I'm leveling the flour. And for pictures out there, you guys know this is very messy. So, yeah. Like I've already spilled a little bit of flour back there. You guys have all been good. I've been decent. Let us know in the comments. That's the flour. Baking soda. It's gonna be two teaspoons of baking soda. Guys, this is my uh, favorite cookie recipe. Well, my favorite chocolate chip cookie recipe. Like I've tried some other ones, but this one is just the best one I've had and been able to make. So if you guys need a recipe, you guys should try this one. Now, I'm just going to whisk it until it's fluffy. I don't really know what this does, but yeah. It doesn't take that much. So now we're going to sit that off to the side and we're going to cream our butter and sugar. So... Um, it has to be salted butter and it has to be room temperature and we're using a hand mixer today because we do not own a stand mixer so I'm gonna add the butter this is one cup of butter Guys, I'm making this for a Christmas party that I'm going to. So, cause my chocolate, my, all my cookies I make are really good. And everybody wanted me to make some, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna make some. Very little sugar. This is going to be two thirds cup and four teaspoons. Guys, please don't mind how I look. And brown sugar. We 
the key part of the Ziploc bag so it could stay, stay soft. Hold on, I forgot the teaspoon. Guys, I kind of miss doing YouTube and being on camera and stuff, but I don't have time for it anymore. Because life hit me, and I had to grow up and get a job, and then I also, school came back, so now I'm also cheering, so I have work, cheer, and school, and it's a lot. So for the brown sugar, I'm using light brown sugar, but you can use both based on preference. I think dark brown sugar makes it like a little bit sweeter and like a richer flavor. But I prefer light brown sugar for chocolate chip cookies. So it's gonna be one cup. So it's packed like that. So now we're just gonna mix it until it's like cream together and like a smooth consistency. So the eggs are also room temperature. So what I do is I'll crack it into a bowl first so that if shells get in, it's easier to take out. So that's one egg. Second egg. And for the vanilla, it's two teaspoons, but I'm gonna add a one tablespoon because I like to add a little extra vanilla. So now we're just gonna mix this until it's smooth again. That's how it should look. And so now we're gonna add the flour mixture to it. But like half at a time. I usually do like in three parts so it's easier to mix. So this recipe says three cups and I'll usually measure it out at first and then I'll add more or do like a little less depending on how like how I feel basically. Okay, we're just gonna add this whole bag. So now it's two cups and so I'm gonna mix it in. I use my hands for this part also. Just because it's like easier. I'd like more heads on. And it's gonna be chilled in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. And then we're gonna come back. I need to cover with plastic wrap or something. So yeah. 
going to put this in the fridge. So while in this 30 minute time period, what I usually do is um, I'll clean up my mess and I'll wash this, all the dishes that I use. So yeah, I'll be back. It's been 30 minutes. So the oven right now is preheating to 350. And I lined two baking sheets with parchment paper. Parchment paper. Hey y'all, I'm in the background. She's cooking these delicious cookies. I hope y'all enjoying the video so far. Yeah. So here's the dough mix. So I put gloves on because I don't use a cookie scoop, I use my hands. So yeah. Like I said, I'm very more hands on. So I just like grab a certain amount. I'm gonna make these smaller than I usually make them. And then like roll it into a ball. And then just place them. I'm just gonna repeat that. This is probably gonna be like two batches. These and then another batch. So, yeah. Have y'all been staying in the house since it's cold out there in some states? It's kind of cold out here right now, so I've been kind of trying to stay warm behind the scenes. Don't mind that noise, just try to go crazy. Yeah. Make sure you spread them out like enough to where they don't like touch. Like two inches apart is good. Or just like eyeball it. You know, I kind of eyeball measurements. Not like, not like measuring out the ingredients, but like with placements and stuff. I usually put like seven or eight on a tray. I think I'll do probably seven. Make them all around the same size and shape. It's not gonna be perfect, which is fine. But, yeah. That's the oven, that preheating. Okay. I could do eight on this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look at this recipe because I'm actually really not a baker. I have Tadeja doing a lot of baking for me and she's really good at it. It's one of the things that she loves to do, which I'm happy about that because I do love cookies. That's one of my favorite things to eat. And she's definitely the baker of the house. Drop down in the comments if you like to bake or do you have somebody in the house that love to bake? With baking, it takes patience and like measurements and like Kind of more of like exact things, unless you like try new okay. recipes and stuff. But my mom, she's the exact opposite. She just likes to throw things in there, which makes her like a good cook. Yeah, I like to eyeball everything. Yeah, but like a baker. But if I'm following somebody's recipe, I will take our time for the ingredients and measure if I have to. The chocolate chips smell good. I love to watch other people do things in person with me because it's, that's like one of my favorite things to do is to be in the kitchen cooking. That's one of my happy, happy places. It's when I'm most happy, to be honest. And plus there's a lot of good bonding time. Had the best conversations in the kitchen. Get to spend time with Tanasia. Cause she can't do that anymore. Yeah, she extra busy, so I have to have to um get the time when I can. Yeah. It's hard to catch me, like honestly. Understand. <laughs> Go ahead, this your video. Go ahead. 
She's like, no mom, no. No patience, girl, no. <laughs> But on a serious note, y'all, I've been pretty much chilling in the background. I'm ready for this year to be over with. I'm so ready. I'm mostly preparing myself for 2023. Trying to detox 2022. It's been a long, long year. Okay, guys. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take chocolate chips and press them into the tops of the cookies. I will usually do like two or three. Like that. It makes it look nice and pretty, and then like it tastes good too because it's like more chocolate. So, yeah. So you gonna is that the whole batch that you baking right now, or are you gonna? Um... I'm gonna make another batch. Want this? All right, this is all that's going in the oven right now. Yeah. So what's your favorite type of cookies to make with the bake? To bake is chocolate chip. Cause it's easier and I don't know, I like they all making them. All yeah. Drop down in the comments, what's your favorite homemade baked cookies? I think mine's like the ones that you bake up. These chocolate chips are my favorite, even though I want to try some homemade cookies with some nuts in it. So I love cookies with nuts in it. Maybe some pecans. Or some walnuts. I'm telling y'all ladies because she have to she have to literally hide them in the, in the room. Yeah. In the room container. Cause I be baking, like when I do bake, it's usually like for an occasion. And if I keep them in the kitchen, everybody's gonna eat them. But everybody likes my sneaker noodles. And they keep like when I first started making them, I made them like three times at the span of like two weeks. And they're still asking me to make more. I don't know why you, I told you you need to start selling these cookies. Yeah, that's that's why my friends keep saying it too. They said like I can make a lot of money off of it. But oh. like, I, I just, it's something I do on occasion. Even if you just um, bake once a week and let everybody know once a week that you're gonna have cookies. That's a good, a good um, side hustle. Okay guys, this is what it looks like. So we're gonna put this in the oven, 350 for 10 to 12 minutes. For me, it's usually like at around 11 minutes, so. Okay guys, this is the first batch after they are done baking. So what I did is that after I took them out, after 11 minutes, I let it cool on the baking sheet for three to five minutes, and then I transferred it to the cooling rack. So now I'm gonna do the second batch. Okay guys, this is the, this is the end result. And the cookies, very nice, very nice. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell to get notified every time she posts another video. Right, and child. yeah. Be safe out there, be blessed, enjoy your holiday. And I appreciate y'all watching this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Bye, y'all.